Hi, my name is Corey, General Manager of Animal Services here at SPCA. Hi, I'm Archie, and I'm a foster coordinator here at the SPCA. I'm so happy that you're interested in becoming a foster for us. Your willingness to help and open your home makes a world of difference to the animals that come into SPCA care. There are several reasons why an animal might need to go into foster care. They might be too young, they might be sick, they might be injured, they might just need a really quiet space. In a foster home, they can get that one-on-one -on -one attention until they're ready to come back into the center. And most importantly, it does free up the center for other animals who might need help. Well, it's a diverse range. Sick and injured animals that need medication and time to heal, newborns and young animals that need time to grow and socialize before adoption, and adult animals that are shy or have never experienced a loving home and kindness from people. So all of our foster animals have special needs of some sort, which is something to keep in mind when you do sign up. We also sometimes need foster homes if an animal is involved in one of our inspectorate cases and the case is waiting for legal proceedings to take place. For these animals, we need the most dedicated foster homes as they often stay for a long time and are high needs because of their background. While most of the animals we send out to foster are cats and dogs and small animals like rabbits and guinea pigs, some of our centers also need foster parents for birds and farm animals like horses, pigs, sheep, and goats. This is one of our most frequently asked questions. You can absolutely foster for the SPCA if you have your own pets, kids, or if you work away from home. We'll ask you a few questions just to ascertain what best works with your schedule and then we'll take it from there. The SPCA will get in touch with you if we feel like we have an animal that might be a good fit for you. But of course, you don't have to take anything that you're not comfortable with and you can decline at any time. First and foremost, your time, patience, and commitment. All animals we send into foster homes need some type of special care, be it because they're sick, shy, or very young. So you need to be prepared to dedicate some time each day to help them to get well enough for adoption, both mentally and physically. This includes playtime and training sessions, feeding and cleaning, medicating, as well as the occasional trips to the vet or the SPCA center. To ensure you can get there for scheduled trips and emergencies, you will need independent transport and some flexibility within your schedule to travel during the week. Some animals such as sick, unvaccinated young animals and nursing mothers also need a dedicated space such as a spare room or bathroom away from existing pets. So your home setup will dictate a degree to which animals you can foster. Most foster animals spend between two weeks and several months in foster care. You can discuss your availability and work schedule with our team and we'll match the right foster animal each time. The more flexible you are, the easier it will be to place a foster animal with you. And of course, you can take breaks between each foster placement. And just like with any new commitment, there is some training and paperwork involved that you will need to complete before you can take your first foster animal home. This is to keep you and the animals safe and well cared for. We hope you bear with us during this process. Fostering is a great option for people who love animals but they just can't commit to them long term. As a fosterer, you will get to meet a whole range of personalities and have the satisfaction of seeing them find their forever home. And if you have children, it's a great way to teach them about responsibility and compassion. So, are you ready to make a difference to the lives of animals in need? Go ahead and click the link below and start your foster parent journey today. Together, we can provide love, care, and hope to the animals who need it most. We can't wait to meet you.